Just real quick, while I'm out here testing binos, I just wanted to shed a little light on this Vanguard. Um, damn, I wish I remember the model number. It's like the VO2 carbon fiber. Um, it's four legs uh, extensions, which I don't really care for. Just another chance to get flimsy. Um, I bought the Slick uh, 634 um, just because it packs down to about the same size. Um, obviously gets tall enough that you can stand up. Um, the, the twist locks on the slick are a little bit more firm and secure. Um, the, the Vanguard's never given me problems. I've been running this thing hard for two years and it's the, the leg locks are always, you know, they always work and function properly. Um, there's about a $150 difference between the two. They weigh almost exactly the same at a little over two and a half pounds. Um, the uh, the thing I wanted to mention, maybe I could set this up or put it down for a second, but when you go to sit down, the reason I, I wanted a little bit taller tripod was when you go to sit down like on a rock and you want to bring that tripod to you, you know, you normally kick the legs out uh, to that next position. Um, the, whatever it is, the angle on the slick get so low on that next position it, it it's kind of a pain in the ass so that's that's on the next position up on both of them and now look at them they're the same height oh, maybe you can't see that so that's the next leg position you can tell that the vanguard is a little bit more steep of an angle than the slick you remember how tall it was that kind of bugs me a little bit. This thing has got a giant footprint, the slick does, and it's not all that secure because those legs are starting to bow out and flex a little bit, where this one, the legs are a little shorter, but they're just as solid in my opinion. Um, you know, that's, that's the height that I normally have to run this thing at um, when I'm sitting, you know, you just find a rock to glass off of and you're kind of sitting a couple of feet off the ground. You're not sitting flat on your ass. Which, when you're doing that, everything works fine. But, uh, other than the fact that I can stand up a glass, which is cool sometimes, I kind of prefer the Vanguard. The ball head runs just as smooth. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever about the ball head. Uh, again, it's, you know, a couple ounces difference. I mean, it's very, very, very small. Um, it packs down, actually, I think a little bit smaller, the Vanguard. Um, more leg extensions, shorter sections. Um... If you can find that thing for 120 bucks, if you you know if you shop around versus 250 for the slick, um, I would buy that thing in a heartbeat. The center post is a little bit beefier, a little bit more sturdy than the scrawny little one on the slick. Um, yeah, I was I was really pumped when that slick showed up, but I quickly realized, and once I sat down and used it on a rock, I had to get it. You know, this thing's six feet wide at the base. Um, just to get the same height as pretty much that one, um, it wasn't, and it, it's, it's all because of this angle here, where these stops are, are not as steep as these ones. If, if you could put a little spacer in there so that the, the leg didn't ride up, maybe it comes to like right there instead of up here, that might be a, a fix for it, but I just don't see how you could do that properly, um, kind of a bummer but you know it is what it is anyway just uh something i've found over the years that that vanguard is a hell of a buy this looks not bad it's cool that you can stand up uh and use it and it still packs down and is you know sub three and a half pounds or two and a half sub three pounds um but otherwise that vanguard is definitely the best buy i just folded up the the bottom sections on each so i've got three out over here i've got two out on the slick and because of the angle it's actually a little bit lower than the vanguard so now you have to run more center post which is kind of a bitch gets a little bit more wobbly less sturdy um if you're going to run more at least you have uh, a heavier duty a little bit sturdier center post on this vanguard um kind of bummed not gonna lie, I could do without standing up and glassing, although it is nice. Um, hmm. 
And while we're at it, just so everyone could see, packed up. The slick packs up really well for the, as high as it goes um, due to a little bit longer legs. Um, but yeah, Vanguard's even a little bit more compact. So take it for what it's worth. They're both really good tripods, but I don't think other than standing up, the slick doesn't do anything more than the Vanguard does.